Hey all, Fiorim here. If you've seen my previous videos, you might know that I'm building a mega factory that produces 10 of each item in the game per minute. For that I will need a lot of inputs, and some of them I am producing off-site. Today I'm presenting what you just saw, the steel factory. This factory produces 5560 steel pipes per minute, as well as 240 steel beams per minute. There are no alternate recipes in the game for these items, so the only way to produce them is by first producing 9300 steel ingots per minute. That is definitely requiring a large amount of coal and iron. I have built this factory on the lake in the lake forest, mainly because there's a lot of both coal and iron nearby, and the lake can provide water as I'm using the pure iron ingot recipe, which requires also some water. My mega factory also requires 1320 iron ingots per minute, which I decided to produce at the steel factory. This means that the factory uses a total of 6200 coal per minute and 4060 iron per minute. Luckily there's a nice place with six pure iron nodes near the lake forest, which provides enough iron for this factory, as a 50% overclocked Mark III miner produces 720 ore per minute. So I just needed to tap all of those nodes and run a nice stack of six spells to the factory. The coal I needed to collect from a larger area, in the red bamboo fields and the maze canyons. I have gathered a total of 4 pure and 6 normal coal nodes, which provide a total of 6480 coal per minute when overclocked. While I'm showing the time-lapse of the build, let me run through some of the numbers for this factory. You might be wondering why I need so many steel pipes and so few steel beams. The answer is simply that a lot of the recipes I use require the pipes. For encased industrial beams I need over 2300 of them per minute, for heavy modular frames close to 1550, for modular frames the requirement is 950, and for stators 720. That gives us a total requirement of 5537.5, and I want to produce some spare as well, so I rounded to 5560. Steel beams I need mainly for the versatile frameworks, which is 210 per minute, and a few for screws and beacons. That means that if we produce 240 per minute, there will be some spare ones as well. Finally, I mentioned that I'm producing also 1320 iron ingots in this factory. These are for iron plates that I'm planning to produce at the mega factory. The basement of the steel factory is reserved for the load balancers and the water extractors. You saw a glimpse of the basement in the clips at the beginning of this video. Since the next floor contains refineries for the iron ingots in four wings, two wings of 18 refineries and two wings of 40 refineries, the iron actually doesn't require any load balancing. One belt of 720 ore per minute is enough for 20 refineries, which is half of the long wings, and that's definitely also enough for a full short wing. Coal is a bit more tricky. I have 4 belts of 720 coal per minute, and 6 belts of 600 coal per minute. There's a total of 3 floors further up with foundries in 2 wings, and each wing will require 1040 coal per floor. So I'm dividing the coal to 12 belts of 520 each, and sending two of them to each wing in each floor. As mentioned, the next floor after the basement is for the iron ingot production. This is done in 116 refineries that produce a total of 7540 iron ingots per minute. Similarly as with coal, these are also sent upstairs in 12 pelts of 520 ingots each. The remaining ingots will be sent to the mega factory. After that I'm alternating between floors producing steel ingots from iron ingots and coal in 52 foundries per floor, and floors with constructors making steel pipes, and on the last floor also some steel beams. After the production the pipes and the beams are sent downstairs and are currently synced.
And now we can kick off the steel offside inputs as well as the iron ones. Still some way to go, but some of the tricky ones are now then. Oil inputs as well as the looming mega nuclear power plant are still left, but we are doing good progress. I hope you have enjoyed this video. See you soon for the next one.